Guys, went to North of Carolina EDC review of Centaur. We got another silencer suppressor, whatever you want to call it, from AB Suppressors. Now, this is going to be the A10 762 caliber suppressor here, and it'll be a great addition to your rifle or short barrel rifle, whatever you want to call it. Very cool design and um, very easy to um, use and everything as far as that goes. Very lightweight and it's very um, cool system they have in this one which we'll talk about here in a second but uh, if you haven't seen the video I'm using the uh, hub adapter from um, <clears throat> Brick Arms which is the Brick Log QD mount system check out the video on that or I'm going to tell you somewhere here or at the end of the video so you can check it out very cool system if you're looking for something <clears throat> to quick detach your uh, silencer suppressor off your rifle but anyways let's go ahead and take a closer look at this and and what it all has to offer so stay tuned all right guys we got the a10 from ab suppressors again this is a 762 caliber uh suppressor here silencer whatever you call it they do have the 556 which is a little bit shorter but the cool thing about this again it's a 762 so you can put you can always shoot 556 over here as well and that's what i'll be using pretty cool flash out of here design everything but let's talk about some of the um specs right quick and what this also does now the a10 offers incredible performance and flash reduction with the flash built in all right enough talking let's go ahead and shoot some all right guys we're going to start with a few rounds of the 62 grain 556 ammo here uh and see how quiet it is let me go ahead and take one ear off and kind of get an idea right quick but anyways let's go ahead and see Oh, put the caps on. All right, here we go. Okay. Still a little loud. I mean, it still got a little pop. So I'm going to go ahead and put my ear on. Maybe the second round will be... Let's see what the second round sounds like. Okay, the second round is not that bad. But the first one definitely get the pop, of course. But let's go ahead and put our ear on anyways. Ah, right, here we go. All right, so again, that was 62 grains. Let's go ahead and run some 68 grain uh, hollow point here. And let's see how quiet it is. All right, here we go. Definitely a little bit quieter. Okay, little bit quieter not much but uh again it's going to vary depending on what kind of grain you use but other than that i might one ear off um it does re redirect a lot of the sound that way but it's still not as hearing damage type thing but when i shoot it without ears all day long definitely but it does take the edge off of course this being an 18 inch that might help a lot too but yeah not bad I didn't see any flash, which is good. Um, but yeah, definitely have to get some 70, 70 grain, 74 grain, whatever it is, 5.56, five, and try some of these suppressors for those because that definitely will help a lot, um, you know, as far as the sound goes. But I like it so far. Um, <clears throat> interested to see how well it works on a 300 blackout, which I probably may be using on. Uh, hint, hint. Some are coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, definitely uh, like it. And being 7.62 again, you can shoot 7.62, of course, 5.56, five, and 300 blackout. So that's definitely going to be uh, a great suppressor to use, in my opinion. And having this QD, I can swap back and forth, uh, different calibers. And that's definitely going to be a good addition to my suppressor collection, which is, again, my fourth one. So uh, really excited to get more kind of an addiction now now the things are moving faster with the uh, process and the approvals uh, this one took me um, three business days I guess so not bad so typically that's how many days it's taking me to get never have one come right away the next day maybe that will increase I don't know but as many people approve it now or applying it's definitely gonna be 
you know, not as quickly as it was before. But uh, yeah, I like the A10. Definitely a good silencer. Again, uh, time will tell. As far as the, um, you know, how good it is. And again, with different ammunition. But I like it. Yeah, definitely like it. Definitely uh, good suppressor. Not a bad price on this again. And definitely will recommend. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what is your favorite 556 five, that is stupid quiet out there. I really like to get one that's super quiet. Um, but again, this one, not bad at all. Um, definitely will recommend it. Again, I haven't shot it much, but so far as many rounds I put through it uh, today, definitely a great, great suppressor for what it is. Again, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Just a quick little video on the AB suppressor 810 762 caliber. Again, they do offer in 556 and a great, great addition to your suppressor or silencer collection. And make sure to check out Brick Arms with the new brick lock system qd system which i think is a great system and definitely be great for a 30 caliber type silencer where you can be able to swap back and forth and use it multiple calibers all right guys that's pretty much it again comment down below let me know what is your favorite 556 dedicated 556 scan that you use that is super quiet what type of length what type of system you use it on and let me know exactly uh which one do you like the most? All right, guys, if you're not following me on social media, you're missing out on content like this coming up on the channel. Kind of give you a sneak peek of what I'm working on at the moment as well. Um, there's a campsite link on my bio, guys. Make sure to check that out. Just click on it. Even if you're looking around, just check it out and see what you can get uh, at a discount price for many of the different brands that I, uh, you know, review in the past here on the channel. Saves you some money, helps me out. It's a win-win situation and we all be happy. But anyways, as usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.